today i'm going to start the level 3 problems <clears throat> topic is electric flux and gasler i'm going to explain first problem so what is the first problem say a solid metallic sphere has a charge is 3q concentric cell with a sphere is a conducting spherical cell having charge is q the radius of the sphere is a and the top of the spherical cell is b b, b greater than a what is electric field at a distance r a less than capital r less than b from the center so we have to find out electric field at this point so how can we find out you see so first of all so we have to write the given data so what is the given data question number one this is a question number one so what is the given data given given data so given data is so this is the met, a metallic sphere this is a metallic sphere this is a metallic sphere metallic sphere this is a metallic sphere this is a radius is uh, so this is a radius is a and next to spherical cell this is a spherical cell so spherical cell metallic sphere having charge is plus 3q plus 3q and a spherical cell having charge is plus q plus q so but the spherical cell radius is uh, b b so what is the electric field at a distance r at a distance r but condition is a less than or less than b so a is a is uh, less than r r is less than b so this is a radius b this is a radius a but where we are taking the r r means so <clears throat> this is r this is a r this is a point this is a point this is r point from here to here is a distance r this is r is less than uh, a is less than r r is less than b this is a condition at this point we have to find out the electric field do you know already explained the logic how can you write the electric field here you see that this is electric field general formula what is the electric field general formula e is equal to so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught so q by r so this is a general formula of electric field this is a general formula this is a general formula of electric field okay at this point we have to find out the electric field you see at this point so we construct the gaussian surface here we construct the first gaussian surface this is a gaussian surface gaussian surface so next uh, so we have to find out the uh, electric flux electric flux passing through the gaussian surface next we have to calculate the flux in the gaussian surface inside the charge is 3q but our electric field is uh, e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon r so what is the inside the charge there is a 3q by r so this is a your answer so first problem is over so this is a gaussian surface in uh, this is a gaussian surface inside charge is 3q this is a gaussian surface outside charge is uh, q so but we don't take this q value so what is uh, uh, what is the reason means uh, only inside the uh, charges inside the gaussian surface we have to calculate so first to construct the gaussian surface next we have to calculate electric flux through uh, electric flux passing through the gaussian surface next uh, so charge find out the in the gaussian surface so charge find out the in the gaussian surface so this is a charge inside the gaussian surface that is a your answer that is a your answer that is your answer this is the first question is over first question is over next is second question so what is the second question second question second question in the second question what is given data you see the figure is given so this is a figure number 1 This is a figure number one. This is a plane sheet. This is a influent plane sheet. This plane sheet having sigma one. This is a sigma two. This is a reason number one. This is a reason number two. Reason number two. This is a reason number three. So this is a sheet number one. This is a sheet number one. This is a sheet number two. This is a sheet number two. but here condition is what is the condition sigma 1 greater than sigma 2 this is a condition so this is a condition and two parallel plate sheet this is a parallel plate sheet this is a plate 1 this is a plate two. carry uniform charge density charge density sigma 1 and this uh, 
this other um, parallel parallel uh, this is a sheet another sheet carries a sigma 2 and uh, electric field in the region mark 2 so we have to find out the electric field in the region 2 in the region 2 we have to find so already i explained this concept here. already i explained this concept very clearly come to the point so plane sheet means in the concept in the concept term, plane sheet means this is a plane sheet this is a plane sheet this is a plane sheet this is also plane sheet same sheet this is a plane sheet a uh, positive charge is uniformly distributed over the plane sheet means this is a plane sheet so here uh, uh, electric field is equal to sigma by F, uh, sigma by 2 epsilon naught 2 epsilon naught this is a uh, uh, plane sheet plane plane sheet uh, this is a electric field of plane sheet sigma uh, e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught that we know this is a sigma 1 is greater than 2 sigma 2 means this is a positive plate this is a negative plate we are thinking so electric field is from positive to negative this is r cap r cap r cap what is the meaning of r cap r cap means r cap means this is a unit vector it uh, it indicates the direction from positive plate to negative plate positive plate to negative plate so come to the point so what charges are given in the plate one plate one having positive charges positive charge plate two having positive charge positive charge you will see do you know very well so basic one what is the basic point suppose for example this is a um, plate uh, in a flat plane sheet what is the direction of electric field uh, electric field means uh, direction of electric field is away from this, this plate suppose for example negative plate means this is a negative plate uh, this is a plane sheet the plane sheet having charge is negative but the direction of electric field is uh, towards uh, direction of electric field is towards a plane, uh, plane sheet plane sheet negative uh, this is a plane sheet this plane sheet having negative charge means direction of electric field is towards the plate this is a plate plane sheet this plane sheet in a flat plane sheet having charge is positive charge direction of electric field is away from this plate direction of uh, this is a direction of electric field away from this plate this is a in a flat plane sheet this plate having negative charge direction of electric field is towards the plate towards a plate come to the point so this is a positive plate positive plate what is the direction of electric field this is a e1 i am taking this is a uh, this is sigma 1 this is i am taking so at this place what is the direction of electric field away from it at this place what is the direction of uh, electric field for this plate this is the direction of electric field at this place now i am taking the second plate second plate have uh, second plate second plate plane sheet have been positive charge direction of electric field is uh, away from it this is it at this place uh, what is the direction of electric field for this plate this is the direction of electric field at this place also direction of electric field is uh, outward direction this is e2 that is a e2 you see that's one we have to calculate in this region in this region so this is a direction of e1 this is a direction of e2 this is a direction of r cap r cap means uh, that is a direction r cap is a unit vector it gives a direction from plate 1 to plate 2 plate 1 to plate 2 now this is a e e2 plate e2 plate is equal to this is a e1 next to e2 e1 this is e1 this is it direction of e1 this direction direction of r cap direction of r cap direction of e1 both are same direction means of past i am taking the past direction of e2 direction of r cap both are in opposite direction means i am taking the negative i am taking the negative okay come to the point this is uh, e1 this is e2 what is the e plane sheet sigma by 2 epsilon naught general formula this is e2 means uh, sigma by 2 epsilon naught this is a minus this is a plus but uh, this is e1 e1 means uh, this is a uh, sigma 1 by 2 epsilon naught. sigma 1 by 2 epsilon this is e2 means uh, so e2 means uh, this is the e is equal to sigma 2 by 2 epsilon naught sigma 2 by 2 epsilon naught in this both terms which one is common 1 by 2 epsilon naught is common and sigma 1 minus sigma 2 this is a e2 reason electric field e2 reason electric field okay your option is your option is fourth option fourth option is right this is a sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 epsilon naught your this is a your answer fourth option is right okay that is a question number 2 is over question number 3 is over question number is
okay this is um this is a, a concept i explained to you okay next next pop i'm going to explain that next problem next uh, problem next one okay so question number three next uh, question number three question number So question number three. So what is the given? This is given question. So question number three. So question number three. Electric charge is uniformly. So electric charge is uniformly distributed along a long side wire of radius one mm. Charge for cent uh, centimeter length of the wire is Q coulomb. Another cylindrical surface of radius fifty centimeter and length of one meter. Symmetrically, encloses the wire as shown in the figure. The total electric flux passing through the cylindrical surface. Cylindrical surface that is uh, given data. So this is a figure. You see the figure. This is a figure. You are seeing to the figure. You are seeing to the figure. Question number three. Question number three. So question number three. So <coughs> this is a figure. This is a figure. <coughs> this is a infinite wire. This infinite wire having positive charge. Positive charge. Length of the cylinder is one meter. Length of cylinder is one meter. We know here total electric flux. Total electric flux we have to find. Total electric flux passing through the cylindrical surface. We have the formula. Already explained to that formula. So that is uh, phi is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. Q enclosed by epsilon naught. So this is a wire. This wire having the charge is a uh, positive charge. Positive charge. So this is a uh, this wire having positive charge. This is a Gaussian surface. This is a Gaussian surface. So total flux. So here, actually the thing is, yeah, this is a infinite wire. This is a infinite wire. This wire having charge is positive charge. This wire having positive charge. And uh, so we consider the Gaussian surface. This is a Gaussian surface. Next, this is a Flux lines, flux lines passing through the Gaussian surface. We have to calculate the total flux uh, through the Gaussian surface. We have to calculate. So this is a uh, flux and Q uh, n epsilon naught by Q by epsilon naught. But this is a linear charge density. This is a uh, lambda indicates linear charge density. Linear charge density means uh, charge for length. Charge for length Q by n. So length is what is the length? Uh, so here given data charge for given data what is the given data given data here charge for length so charge for centimeters given charge for centimeter one centimeter given this is a one centimeter given so lambda is equal to so q is equal to charge for length charge for length so we are going to write this is a charge for length what is the charge for length so this is a q this is a q l q l lambda l we are going to write so this is a q is equal to lambda l lambda l means um, this is a um, q means i'm going to write this is a lambda uh, we are going to write this is a simplified formula so this is a general formula this is a total flux passing through the gaussian surface this is a general formula but the given data is equal to lambda is equal to charge per centimeter charge per centimeter charge per centimeter means uh, we are going to write the charge per centimeter means uh, this is 100 and right so we are going to write this is a q and by epsilon naught this is a centimeter i'm going to write this is a general formula this is the total flux is equal to q and by epsilon naught this is a general formula but in given data charge per centimeter charge per centimeter charge by centimeter i'm writing so inside inside this is a Charge is inside the Gaussian surface. What is the charge? There is a capital Q. Charge per centimeter. Charge per centimeter. I'm writing 
this is a q total is equal to q by epsilon r means uh, centimeter means 10 power of minus 2 this is a phi total is equal to phi total is equal to i'm going to uh, this is a q 10 power of minus 10 power of minus 2 taken upside this is a 10 square this is epsilon r so we are going to write this is a total flux is equal to 100 q by epsilon naught. this is a your answer this is a your answer that is the question wow option two is correct answer option two is correct option option two is correct option next question number four question number four question number Question number four. Next question, I'm going to explain. Question number four. Next question number four. I'm going to explain question number four. So what is the given question number four? You see that question number four. In the question number four, a charge Q, <coughs> a charge Q is distributed uniformly on a ring of radius r smaller. A sphere of equal radius smaller is uh, constructed with the with its center at the periphery of the ring as shown in the figure. Find the find the flux of electric field through the surface of the sphere. Surface of the sphere. This is a very, very important. Now, you see. Okay. Now, question number four. Question number four. Question number four. See here, what is the given question? This is uh, one sphere. This is uh, another ring. This is a ring. This is a sphere. This is a sphere. So this is a now from here to here is this is a O, what as this is a B point, this is a, a point. So this is a given figure. This is a given figure. Ah, you see that one here. So this is a ring, this is a sphere. But given data, what is the given data? Here, a charge Q is distributed uniformly on the ring of radius R. A sphere of equal radius R is concentrated with the center at the periphery of the S1 figure. Okay. So here, uh, this is a radius of the sphere. Radius of the sphere is equal to radius of the ring, both are equal. That is, the radius is smaller. That is the given data. What given data? Next, uh, that is, uh, this is a uh, OA is equal to OO dash is equal to O dash A is equal to. So, what is the meaning of the terms? Radius R. That is a uh, length, lengths are equal. Length is OA distance. O dash distance is equal to O dash A is equal to R. That is uh, distance. Distance also equal. At the same time, OO dash A, we call this is a equatorial equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle that is the equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. But what is the angle? What is the angle? A O dash is equal to 60 degrees. A O dash is equal to 60 degrees. Next, A O B is equal to 120 degrees angle. 120 degrees angle. At the same time, next to 1 by third of the portion. 1 by third of the portion. Portion of the ring of ring ring inside the sphere inside the sphere inside the sphere one by third of the portion is uh, one by third portion of the ring is ring inside the sphere ring is inside the sphere how much part one by third of the part is ring is sphere now electric flux we have to calculate the electric flux is equal to q and close by epsilon naught so here what charge is uh, distributed uh, capital q is uh, 
is uniformly distributed uh, distributed on the on the ring of radiation ring of radiation charge is capital q by epsilon naught this is a total flux but one by third portion of the ring is into the sphere means uh, this is a one by third so flux is equal to q by 3 epsilon naught that is a your answer by that is a your answer question number 4 next so question number 5 so next question number 5 is very simple question number 5 here <coughs> what is given you see the figure clearly this is a figure this is a surface yes this is a charge is q4 this is a charge is q1 this is a charge q3 this is a charge q2 this is a center of the ring this is a radius is capital r capital r so we have to q1 q2 q1 q2 q3 q4 are point charges located at points as shown in the figure s is a spherical gaussian surface of radius r which of the following is true according to gauss law gauss law we know gauss law so what is the general formula of the gauss law general formula of the gauss law is uh, this is integration So total flux is equal to e. This is a phi is equal to e bar dot d s bar is equal to q enclosed by epsilon. Naught. Q enclosed by epsilon. Naught. You see, this is a flux. This is an integration. E bar d s bar is equal to q enclosed. Charges are present inside. This is a q in means uh, charges are inside the surface. Inside the uh, inside the surface. What charges are present inside? Q1, Q2, Q3 are inside the charges. In Q1, Q2, Q3 are charges are inside the sphere, inside the surface. But Q4 is outside the surface. We don't take this is a Q4. We want to take oh, and Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 by by this is a epsilon naught. That is your answer. But here E dash that is a so but left side left side so left side this is a left side this is a right side right side we are taking inside the charges but left side we are taking and inside outside charges we are taking outside inside outside we are taking so what is inside q1 produces e1 electric field e1 ds bar en ds bar plus next integration q2 this is a u2 bar ds bar plus integration e3 bar ds bar plus integration e4 bar ds bar Is equal to this is a q1 q2 by q3 by this is a epsilon naught that is your answer. But let's say this is a e bar we are taking outside charges inside charges. E bar means uh, e bar e bar means uh, e bar e bar means uh, we are inside charges outside charges are constant inside charges. And uh, outside charges, charges are considering, considering, considering. But uh, Q in uh, Q in means uh, we are considering. So we considering inside the charges we are inside charges are charges are considering. This is our concept. This is a question number five. So question number five. What is a question number five means? Uh, so this is a flux is equal to integration e bar d s bar. E bar d s bar is equal to q q enclosed by epsilon. Naught. Q enclosed means uh, charges should be taken inside the sphere, inside the surface. This is a q in means. This is a surface. Q one, Q two, Q three are inside the sphere, inside the surface. But Q four is outside, outside of the surface. That's why this is a Q and Q1, Q2, Q3 are inside the sphere. We are considering Q1, Q2, Q3, and this is a E bar. E bar means a uh, E bar means a uh, we are considering inside the charges, outside the charges in the left side part. Inside charges, outside. Q1 produces U. Q1 produces E1 electric field. Q2 produces E2 electric field. Q3 produces E3 electric field. Q4 produces E4 electric field. We are considering. Inside charges, outside charges are for uh, uh, left side, but the uh, right side uh, only inside charges are taken into the uh, taken, taken, taken. This is uh, that is uh, your answer. So option is what is option? Your option is uh, <coughs> 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 uh, 
ऑप्शन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ऑप्शन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स question number 6 so what is the question number 6 is given as shown below is a distribution of charges deflux of electric field due to this charges through the sphere yes is so here figure is given so that figure you see the figure what is the figure what is the given figure the given figure is Question number six. Question number six. This is a figure. This is a closer. Uh, this is a surface. <coughs> this is a surface. This is a positive charge. This is a one more positive charge. This is outside of the positive charge. these two charges are inside the surface this charge is outside the surface or say that surface surface is so this is a yes yes indicates surface <coughs> see so, yeah, uh, flux of electric field due to the charges we have to find out flux we have to find out flux but how can you find out the flux means uh, we know very well so flux is equal to n degree n e bar dot ds bar is equal to q and close by f not q and close by y not in given options uh, given options is uh, in terms of flux and q uh, uh, given options uh, options are given in terms of flux and q that's why i'm taking to the these two formulas so flux phi is equal to q and close by y not so q is e phi is equal flux is equal to q q and by y not q and by epsilon not means uh, what, what are the charges inside one and two this is outside we don't consider this outside charge so we considering inside the charges uh, i mean charges are inside the surface so we consider charges are inside the surface that is uh, q plus q that is inside by epsilon not so phi is equal to q plus q that is uh, 2q by epsilon not this is uh, your answer that is a uh, question number Six. Question number six is over. Option. Option is uh, second option is correct. This is a uh, phi is equal to q by epsilon naught. Your second option. That is a uh, over. That is a uh, over. Next uh, question number seven. In the question number seven. Question number seven. What is given here? Thin spherical conducting cell of radius r as charge is kept. small q thin spherical conducting cell of radius uh, this is a spherical cell this spherical cell radius is what is a radius capital r charge is cap small q other charge uh, capital q is placed at the center of the cell capital q is placed at the center of the cell center of the cell the electro uh, electrostatic potential at a point p at a distance uh, r by 2 from the center of the cell center of the cell this is a uh, this is a uh, from here to here is a uh, distance is uh, this is uh, r by 2 r by 2 this is a uh, r by 2 at the center of the cell center of the cell at this point we have to calculate at this uh, p point at this p point we have to find out the uh, electric potential electric potential but how can you find out the electric potential you see that one do you know electric potential means uh, what is the electric potential electric potential general formula is equal to so v is equal to 1 by <coughs> 4 pi epsilon naught uh, to general formula i mean general formula means of point charges point the charges q by r q by r this is a general formula small r you take so you don't confuse so small r <coughs> this is a general formula 
At this point, we have to calculate the electric potential. So first of all, we have to write the electric potential V is equal to, this is, uh, I'm going to write one by four for epsilon, means uh, K by RL. So this is a formula, general formula, general formula. So this is a V is equal to, uh, so we have to find out the electric potential at the P point. Electric potential at the, at this point, we have to calculate the electric potential, electric potential. So V is equal to, so V is equal to what is the formula? K into here at this point. This is a two also concentrating uh, here. This is a, at this point, at this point, uh, we have to calculate the energy potential due to the charge. Q by distance is R by two, R by two plus, at this point, at this point, at this point, we have to calculate the uh, electric potential due to the charge, due to the charge. So from here to here is charge is, uh, we are taking, that is a small, small charge Q by capital R. That is a formula, that is a form. So V is equal, this is a uh, electric potential at the P point. So electric potential P point is equal to K, K means one by four, five epsilon naught, one by four, five epsilon naught. This is, uh, we are going to write to Q by, this is R, to take upside, this is a two Q plus a small Q by capital R, capital R. So this is a V electric potential at two, this is a electric potential at two V point is equal to one by four five epsilon R to multiply into the, this equation, one by four five epsilon R to two Q by capital R plus one by four five epsilon R to and Q by capital R. That is a, your answer. This is a, your option. This is a, option number three. So VP is equal to 2Q by 4 pi epsilon naught capital R plus this is a small Q by 4 pi epsilon naught capital R. Capital R, this is a your your answer. That is a, option number three is a correct option. Correct option. Correct option. Okay, this is a question number seven is over. Question number six also over. Next, I'm going to explain question number eight. Question number eight. Question number eight. So next to question number, question number eight. Question number eight. Question number eight. You see the question number eight. number eight so what is the given question number eight question number eight is uh, <clears throat> a charge q is distributed over two concentric halo connecting sphere of radius a and b b greater than a such that their surface charge densities are equal the potential at their common center is common center is in this concept we have to find out electric potential electric potential <coughs> Question number eight. In this question number eight, <coughs> to a halo. This is a one sphere. This is another spherical cell. Another spherical cell is given. This is a radius is A. This is a radius is, this is a radius. What is the radius of this one A? For this one radius of B, radius of B. So this is a given. And uh, question number eight, Charge Q is charge Q is charge Q is distributed over the two constituents. This Q is distributed over the two spheres. Distributed over and uh, your condition is brief greater than A radius. Such that their surface charge densities are equal. Surface charge densities and sigma one for this one, sigma two, both are equal. Both are surface densities are equal. The potential at the common center is a common center. We have to find out uh, electric potential at the center. So that is a V center we have to find out. We have to find out. But how can you find out that one means? Uh, so first of all, Q V is uh, distributed over the two spheres means uh, capital Q is equal to, small Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. I'm thinking, so in the uh, inner cell taking Q1, outer cell taking Q2. That is a uh, total charge is uh, Q, small Q, 
This small tube is given to the two concentric cells. Sphere number one, uh, uh, spherical cell carries Q1 charge, and another spherical cell carries Q2 charge. This is a sum of two charges, that is a total charge is Q. Okay. So next, the given uh, data in uh, two ch <coughs> charge, surface charge densities are equal. So first of all, surface charge density one is equal to what is the surface charge density one for this one sphere one charge is Q one by area. So general formula sigma is equal to charge by area charge by area that is a <coughs> surface charge density. Surface charge density is equal to Q for surface charge density applies for the spherical cell number one surface charge density one charge one and four five radius a square that is a first 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 spherical second spherical cell is equal to sigma two is equal to q2 second cell carries q2 charge and four five area means four five r square radius means what is a radius b square but given data both the surface charge densities are equal q1 by four five a square q2 by four five b square so 4, 5, 4, 5 cancel each other. That is a Q1 by A square is equal to Q2 by B square. That is a B square. <coughs> that is a, we are getting. Charges, we are getting. Suppose for example, this is a Q1. I want Q1 is equal to A square by B square is equal to into, this is a Q2. So I want Q2 is equal to Q2 is equal to B squared by A squared. That is a Q1. I'm going to write. I'm going to write this one. So why I'm going to write this means so you will see. We have to find out to call this is a electric potential at the center. Electric potential. Uh, electric potential at the center. How can you find out the electric potential at the center? Means uh, this is a BC is equal to formula. Gender formula. K into Q1 by A. Already told you at this point. This is a Q1 by A. A plus this is a Q2, this is a by B. Q2 by B, this is a formula we are using. We are using. So VC is equal to VC is equal to K. Q1 means what is a Q1? I want to in, in terms of Q1 means a Q1 by A plus Q2 means I'm placing Q2 is equal to B square by A square into Q1. I'm going to write this is a B square by A square. That is a Q1 I'm writing. Okay, wait one minute. Uh, we will uh extend another way another way you see the wait one minute okay so we are finding we are finding suppose for example this is a total charge is equal to what is the total charge q is equal to q1 plus q q1 plus q this is the q is equal to q1 plus q2 means i'm going to write to this is a b squared by a square q1 i'll take Okay, so from in this equation, so Q1 is uh, take common Q1, one plus B squared by A squared, B squared by A squared. This is a Q is equal to Q1. So A squared takes LCM, A squared plus B squared by A squared. I want Q1 is equal to Q into A squared by, this is a A squared plus B squared. Okay, now, so at the same time, similarly remaining, I want to, uh, similarly we have to find out Q2 value, that is a Q into, B square by A square plus B square we are getting. A square plus B square we are getting. Okay, now this is a Q1 value, this is a Q2 value. So next, uh, <coughs> next, uh, electric potential. Electric potential is equal to K into general formula. You can apply Q1 by A plus Q2 by B. This is a formula we are writing. We are writing. So BC is equal to K. Q1 means what is the value of Q1? Q1 means so Q A square by a square plus B square, we are going to write plus next to Q2 means what is a Q2? Q into B squared by um, what we are going to already at A there, A B there, and A square plus B square, we are writing. We are writing. We are writing. So we are writing this is a B squared. This is a A squared. We are writing. Okay. So this is a BC is equal to K. Uh, which one is common terms in upside? This is A into A cancel, one A, B remaining there. So B, B cancel, remaining one B there. So in uh, both terms, uh, K common, K by A square plus B square is common. So here, uh, Q take outside and uh, A plus, this is a 
q take outside a square plus b square outside this is a remaining we have the value is b value this is a b value so this is a vc is equal to k k q a plus b by this is a a square plus b square that is a your answer vc is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and q a plus b by a square plus b square this is a your answer this is a your answer option number fourth option is correct fourth option is correct fourth option is your fourth option is correct this is a your answer fourth option is correct question number 8 next question number 9 question number 9 Question number nine. So, what is the given? Question number nine. Question number nine. The question number nine. So, what is given? Please see that. So question number nine. So what is the given here? Question number nine. Question number nine. See here, what is the given data? Question number nine. You see that two concentric sphere of radius a one and a two carry charges q one and q two respectively. If the charge char, uh, surface charge density sigma is the same for both spheres, the electric potential at the common center will be common center will be. See here also two concentric cells. So this is a one. This is a second one. For this one, this is center. This is a radius. Is what is the radius of for this one? A one. Second one is A two radius. But uh, uh, A one carries uh, Q one. A two carries uh, Q two. <coughs> this first uh, first cell having radius is uh, A one. Second cell, uh, first one. First sphere carries uh, Q1 charge. Second sphere having radius A2 and carries Q2. Okay, so what we have to find out common potential, common potential, common potential. So here given, uh, so logic also given. So what is a uh, surface charge density same? Surface charge density same. Sigma one is equal to sigma two is same. We know basic formula. What is the basic formula? Sigma is equal to sigma is equal to And charge by area, charge by area. So this is a surface charge density is equal to surface charge density applies for uh, first concentric cell. So Q1 by area means so four pi. A means a uh, A1 square. So for this one, first one. Second, uh, uh, the surface charge density applies applies the second uh, concentric cell. That is a uh, charge is carries Q2. Area means a uh, four pi. Radius means so that is a a two square a two square. But condition is what is the condition? Both are uh, equal. Both are equal. Both are equal means uh, what we are doing. Both are equal means uh, this is a uh, sigma one sigma two is equal to here we are writing sigma. This is a sigma one. This is a sigma two. Sigma one is equal to sigma. Sigma two is equal to sigma. We are going to write this is sigma is equal to q one by four pi a one square. But I am going to write this is a q one is equal to sigma. Four pi a one square. I'm going to write. This is similarly we are going to write. Sigma two means sigma two is uh, is equal to sigma. That is a sigma is equal to q two by four pi a two square. A two square. That is a uh, q two is equal to sigma four pi a two square. We are going to write. We are going to write. This is sigma one sigma two. This is common potential formula. Is already I explained to you. Common potential is equal to k into So we are finding at this point, at this point, <coughs> at this point means uh, charge Q1 by Q1 by radius uh, A1 plus uh, second one is uh, Q2 by that is radius A2. We are writing. We are writing. So this is a common electric potential at the center point is equal to K. So what is the Q1? Q1 means so what is the Q1? Sigma 4 pi A1 squared by A1. 
plus q2 means what is q2 sigma 4 phi a2 square by a2 this is a value so k means what is a k means uh, 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught. 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught. sigma 4 phi a1 square by a1 plus sigma 4 phi a2 square by a2 value a2 value and uh, so this is the one term this is another term both term having the common term common term is a uh, sigma 4 phi common term sigma 4 phi a1 a2 uh, a1 square cancel a2 and a1 uh, cancels remaining one value there S uh, sigma 4 phi take common 4 phi epsilon naught in uh, a1 a1 square cancel remaining a1 there a2 a2 square cancel and remaining a2 value there a2 value there this is our value so next year 4 phi 4 phi cancel each other vc is equal to and sigma y epsilon naught so this is a a1 plus a2 we have to value this is a so relative potential at the common center common center common center this is a sigma y epsilon naught a1 plus a2 option number four option number four is correct option option four Next question number 10. Question number 10. Question number 10. <coughs> Next to question number 10. So I'm going to explain question number 10. And question number 9 is correct option is fourth option. Correct option is fourth one. Option number four. Next. Question number 10. See your question number 10 is given. So what is it given? You see that one. Assume three concentric connecting spheres where charge Q1, Q2 have been placed on inner outer sphere. Whereas middle sphere has been added. Find charge on the outer surface of the middle sphere conductor. <coughs> we have to find out the charge. This is a one sphere. This is a second spherical cell. This is a third one. For this one, this is center, this is a radius R1, this is a radius R2, this is a radius R3, this is a radius R3, <clears throat> R3, radius R3. Okay, here this is second cell is connected to grounded, second cell is, second cell is connected to grounded, second cell is connected to grounded, second cell is connected to grounded. Charge is at this place uh, plus Q1 plus Q1. Charge is here plus Q2 plus plus uh, Q2 charge is placed on outer cell. Q1 charge is placed on inner side. Middle cell is connected to ground. Middle cell is connected to ground. So already I explained this type of problems and simply so we are going to find out the charge. What we are going to find out the charge? Charge is uh, and Q we are going to find out. Q we are find out the Q. So here simply, so V2 also, this is connected to, so this is a second cell is connected to ground, means its potential becomes zero, potential becomes zero. So V2 is equal to, I'm finding, at this point, we are finding energy potential. At this point, we are finding energy potential. That, that is a formula, K. So Q1 by, I'm writing Q1 by R1, plus here charge, I'm, I'm taking here, Capital Q minus Q1 I'm taking. Capital Q minus Q1 I'm taking. Capital Q minus Q1 I'm taking. That is a radius. Is a, at this point we are finding, at this point we are finding, okay. at this point we are finding radius is a, from here to here is radius is R2. Here also radius R2 plus this is a charge is a, Q2 by distance from, from radius is R3. R3. So V2 becomes 0. K Q1 by R2 plus this is a Q by R2 minus Q1 by R2 plus Q2 by Q2 by this is R3. R3. And K, K take the side. So what is the value? This is a Q1 by R2 plus Q1 
one by R two plus uh, plus uh, Q one by R two minus Q one by R two cancel each other. So remaining zero is equal to Q by R two minus plus Q two by R three. So one value take this side. This is a uh, Q two Q two minus R three is equal to Q by R. So Q is equal to Q by R two is equal to minus Q two by R three. So R two take this side. Q is equal to minus R two by R three is equal to. This is a Q two value. Q two value. Your option is first option. Your option is first option correct. First option is correct option. Correct option. This is a question number ten. Question number ten. Next to question number eleven. I'm observing. So okay, next tenth uh, question. Tenth question. Tenth question. So tenth question is over eleventh question. Next eleventh question. <coughs> Next eleventh uh, question. Eleventh question. So eleventh question. Okay. So I'm going to explain eleventh question. Okay. So so do the classes over ma. Tomorrow I will explain. Uh, tomorrow I will explain. 